industry facts and trends of the energy industry, mostly based on oil and gas, actually mostly on oil. So most of my comments are based in this report, which is the British Petroleum analysis of the energy industry. So you are going to see some statistics, some data, and it's very interesting data. And you can find it for not only oil, but also for natural gas, coal, nuclear energy, renewables, electricity, carbon, etc. Right now we're going to stick into primary energy because most of the energy is produced via oil. We're going to check out research, production, prices, trade movements, and so on. Okay, so let's start with the facts. There are certain data of this year. So this is based on the 2017, 2018. So it's relatively fresh. Primary energy consumption growth averaged 2.2%. So that's what we increase in energy consumption. Last year was 1.2%. So actually it's a huge amount if you compare it to this almost twice. So we, uh, we have a growth of almost twice compared to last year's. And this is one of the fastest since 2013, meaning that probably the energy sector and in general, all the economy in the world is going well. This compares with a 10 year average of 1.7%. So back in, there is a 0.5% extra compared to this. By fuel, natural gas is accounted for the largest increment. So now, probably you know that we are decreasing oil. For instance, the renewables are increasing drastically and oil is increasing just for the demand, but actually trend is to decrease oil consumption and dependence. So the energy consumption of China increased by 3.1%. So you can see this is actually much more than the 2.2 average in the world. China was the largest growth market for energy for the seventh consecutive year. So that's good news and bad goods because it means that China is increasing its capability and it's using energy content. And it's bad because of course, this is most likely not that clean energy. China has very low quality, let's say, specification and legislation for pollution. So, yeah, unfortunately, that is a thing to consider. Now, more facts. The average price actually averaged $54 per barrel, when in 2016 was $43. So, we have an increase in oil content. And this is the actual first increase from 2012. So from 2012 to 2017, we had five years in which petroleum was declining. The barrel price was manipulated by the OPEC. So they control most of the, let's say, production of oil. And you know that if there is offer, the prices drop. If there is a decrease in oil, there is an increase in price. Unfortunately, this is controlled mostly by Middle East, Venezuela, and so on. Global oil consumption growth averaged 1.8% or 1 1.7 million barrels. Okay, China once again and the US are the single largest contributor to the growth. So meaning USA and China are growing still. So actually US is growing, but this is a monster. It's growing very fast. Global oil production rose to 0.6 million barrels per day. US and Libya had the largest increase in output, meaning in production. And Saudi Arabia and Venezuela actually had decrease in production. So that's interesting as well. Mostly because of the market conditions, but also because of policies regarding Venezuela and, on the other hand, Saudi Arabia. And let me show you this in a separate video so we can pay attention in the primary consumption of fuels.